Hey everybody, this is Fighter Kaos along with Double RPG, and we are medalless. Repeat, medalless. Yes. Don't know what happened, but in the meantime, we have the bad gamer. I'm our official stand. Yeah, I, I more or less am the replacement guy. <laughs> For the time being, anyways. Eh, I mean, I, I don't mind. Uh, honestly, like, uh, gives me uh, gives me something to do for the next two hours before we usually hang, you know, so. Right. Yes. I, I, I happen to, to be d multitasking by working my job, so I was like, uh, I need someone who can look at the chat. <laughs> Understandable. So, yeah, uh, we're back to Demon Blade, and in today's episode, we finally begin Momohime's Tale. Funny enough, you were also playing Demon Blade, and I was with you, Alex. Yeah, and there were some episodes here and there, yeah. yeah. I, I, I stopped after, like, because, I man, doing do the post stuff, like, I just got, it, it's just, nothing really happens. There's no story, and you just basically right. just grinding out souls, and fighting the, the monsters you didn't fight on whatever character's, like, specific mm. side. Right. Oh. I guess once again, I still have not seen the final, the, the 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 third ending of the game. So, oh, anyway, uh, LPH said hey and uh, hello, Mutiki. He says that's because there's a big storm in CA that's in Canada that's causing internet problems in the country. Bob, oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, okay, and that's it's internet, internet that... just might just be out. That's <laughs> I guess all, yeah, all of it, even like five G use and all that, so he can't even like text. He says, joking, it's hot. Or no. <laughs> and I I think he meant California. The state. No, Canada. There's oh, it is Canada? Yeah. Okay, n never mind. Yeah, because California. Uh, California is also CA, but I put uh, you know, At first, I was assuming it was like uh, California. I was like, no, I probably meant Canada, so. <clears throat> So, <sighs> Alex, you uh, you played this game on your uh, stream channel too. Um, did you play mm -hmm. it with the 4K texture pack? No, I I don't know how to do all that stuff. So I, uh, I played it. I played it by default, and already I didn't even need the 4K. I thought it would look great already from how it looked. Oh, okay. Sure, the 4K brings it out a bit more. Honestly, a bit, a bit that's more. what I. Think. Uh, mm -hmm. But also, I think this game looks so good that even if you would play it on original hardware, like it still looked amazing. I remember that. Like, oh back yeah. In the day. I still own. I still have my original copy, so I just and I have the Vita version somewhere, probably in, in a storage now because like I put away my Vita and all that. So uh, how's everybody apparently... doing this week? Well. This week has um, it's been up and down. It's 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 been an up and down week for me. Uh, dealing with the you know the loss of my cat, uh, mm -hmm. welcoming two new cats in my in, in my life. Um, and as I told you guys just before we went live, they have slowly started to getting used to their new environments because after hiding away for like the last twenty four hours uh, since they arrived yesterday. Uh, they have now started exploring the apartment. So. Hey. I'm. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. you can go. It's a kitty, that's all. Oh. Uh. Uh, but yeah, so like. You, you know, from from, exper from from a week ago, the way I experienced, like, you know, one of my worst moments of this year, like, at. at like, I mean, the loss of any pet is. is Always bad, awful, but like, you know, not how I want to start. Want to start the summer. <laughs> to, uh, I, I know that all too well. The loss of a pet. I mean, especially when I lost like two or three dogs in the uh, within the last decade. But uh, lost one about uh, a few years ago, actually. Yeah, those same here. Like for the past ten years, like it's. I mean. I have lost like a, a pet every like couple of years between, so because mm -hmm. um, like for the last twenty four years, I I had I I had uh, four different cats like at different points of time, of course, 
And it's it never it, it never gets easy, no matter how, how many times it happens. Because oh, yeah. especially and especially our latest one. He he was so young. He was only a year or eight and a half years old. All the other ones were at least like in their fourteens or fifteens, so like you know, they were already yeah, yeah. old by cat standards. Mm -hmm. While he was that so young, sense. yeah, and he was so young, so that that took even harder. Like, uh, yeah, and the tickets is too. It, it doesn't get e easier. No, nope. get easy, and no, it doesn't. But besides that, how you guys been this week? Uh, more or less, uh, same as usual. Work, uh, but pretty much okay. Been playing I'm doing a lot, a lot better. <laughs> Myself, yeah. I've been replaying a lot of Final Fantasy 16 recently. I'm still to go back and play that game. I finished up, like, uh, I stopped after the Titan fight a bit after that. Oh, yeah. Understandable. Have it. I'm doing but, but, a lot better because having bills being paid is great. But hey, yeah. Hugo, that's, that's... Hugo, Hugo Koopka got what he deserved. Of course. Uh, but yeah, like that was also. I mean, that's great, you know, for you, Gary, because I know you've been struggling for what months now, like almost at start yeah. of the year. It doesn't help that some of that struggling was them doing something they shouldn't have done. So I'm hoping that I get to hear back from my government about them. <clears throat> if they could pay me back or something because yeah they, they should have done that in the first place um uh, star child uh, hello star child he said i just been playing uh 514 cinemaverse 2 kiwami mgs5 and he tried to play ranked matching virtual fighter earlier but there was only one person playing ranked uh That's unfortunately the problem. yeah oh, wow. i was to say uh, I was, I was going to say, like, I, I, unfortunately, the, it's just that the game is kind of dead in that aspect. That's, that's the thing I, I would love to play, but nobody else is playing, because, because like me, most people probably saw, like, you know what, I don't want to deal with delay netcode, every other game has rollback. Mm -hmm. I, I like playing it offline, but delay netcode, you know, that came out when pretty much every game was already accepting rollback, you know, that's the, that's the weird part. I don't know what Sega was thinking there. Because uh, that's probably my favorite game to play. Yeah, you, you told me that uh, you, you tend to play that before we, uh, on Tuesday, before we head into KOF. Or, or, or Tekken. Yeah, well, <laughs> I always play that. Uh, LPS says uh, he's been playing Dave the Diver, which is a pretty cool indie game. Uh, Right now, if you have, I believe, extra or premium, you get to play for free. And WWE 24, uh, 2K24. That's what he's been playing. Oh, I wonder if you could stream that with premium. Probably not. If I just give you... No, it's just a free trial. That's the free trial. Um, yeah. Although there's that uh, AEW, AEW one right yeah. now for a plus. For anyone with plus. Yep. I, don't, I don't even know if the game is good or not. It's just, it's just a it, wrestling it, game. It, it's technically, it is, it's, right now the gameplay is basically no mercy. Everybody loves that mm -hmm. game, so. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, so she says, there were rooms, but apparently they were all locked. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just, like, friends or people on, like, around the community, so just fighting each other, practicing for the small tournaments that probably happen around, like, North America. And some place in Japan, probably. What's funny is, um, I don't know. Uh, shoot, I'm like, wait a minute, NDA. I was about to say, what's funny is, let me break NDA. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you have an NDA, huh? Let me, let me, let, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you. Nah. Technically, that's also, but yeah, I won't say anything anyway, so. Technically, <laughs> that's also, but yeah, exactly, but you're not going to stitch. And it's, it's nothing huge. Uh, ah, okay. Let me tell you, wait, that was well, just a word. Yeah, 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 but uh, I'm excited to understand what, 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 uh... 
Uh, so Sasha said some more. He said, I did some missions on Xenoverse 2, and one of them had the GG Goku in it, and the voice was whack. Oh, really? Oh. Uh. So, yeah, I'm LPS now fighting the, the first boss in Milmohime story, this uh, one eyed priest or monk. Uh, LPS says that apparently Discord is going to have some PS5 integration, like proper integration soon, so... Oh, I don't yeah. know. So just give me a phone to just... Annoying. Uh, that way me and Starshock could just pop in, but I don't have to use my phone, I can... On the PlayStation itself, that'd be good. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, Starshock says, so I'm hoping they don't use some of those ver voices in the new DVD. No, no, they have, they have like, done full-on all-new recordings. I mean, Sean Schemmel, what was it, last week or two weeks ago when they said, like, he recorded 60 hours worth of voices. Oh, for uh, Sparking Zero? Yeah, because uh, Star Shadow says, like, there were some weird voices coming out from Xenoverse, too. In, in Xenoverse, there's some weird ones. He was tell Starshot was telling me about one recently with Kid Goku GT, but mm -hmm. there was another one that was weird. I I remember running into with Oolong, where it was, I'm like, that's not Oolong. <laughs> um. And then of course the famous guys, the trunks, you know, uh, yeah. hey guy, hey, and also just guys, like they just left that in there, <laughs> like. Was that, was that on purpose? <laughs> it's like my favorite scene from Cinemas too. It's the. I'm, 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 Told about this one before. It's this opening scenes when Bardock and uh, Bard do like yeah. on Frieza, and you can see his body language and him screaming Frieza's name, but like the voice just comes out as Frieza. Yeah, Frieza. Frieza. Like he looks like he's going Frieza. Hey, yeah. <laughs> the voice that comes out is just Frieza. I remember that because I, I guess they didn't tell Sunny Street. <laughs> but my understanding is that uh, most of, for some reason, like Funimation, like when they do their or when Bandai gives out the dubs and all that, they don't get to see the cutscenes and all that. So that's why, like a lot, some of them doesn't always fit the tone because they don't get to see mm -hmm. what actually is going on. They just have to go based on the script that has been translated. Right. And so, like, and I can. It feels like it's kind of the same, unfortunately, for Spark and Zero. We're probably going to get something similar where it doesn't fully, like, repress their voice that might not always represent what's going on. But I, I guess we'll see when we play it. Uh, although, like, I, I remember watching some of the, one of the many, many Spark and Zero videos that's now been, like, you know, flooding YouTube. And my recommended. Um, some people be like, was complaining like, oh yeah, same story all over again. Even the voice actors sounding bored at this point. I was like, you guys don't, don't understand. The reason it sound like that is because they don't fully know what's going on in the scenes. Yeah, exactly. They don't tell them. Unless they, they uh, unless they actually know like, okay, this is the Super Saiyan three scene. So like, you know, Gemma would know that now he's going to put in his A game for the scream or something like that, or. Uh, like more the more iconic ones like you're a fool or shit like that like like yeah no don't it's not it's not new but of course people will just always there's always gonna be a bunch of people always dunking on the dub also for a lot of them it's their bread and butter like they need dragon ball to survive <laughs> that's how they keep getting work yep because like i can think of top uh because uh, like i is, Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, because, uh, like, on the top of my head, when was the last thing uh, Sean Schemmel did anything that isn't Goku? Yeah, it's true. He, he I know was in one thing. A lot, and, and he was in some other anime for, like, a quick second, but nowadays, I, no, no. Like, I know one one thing on top of my head that, is, that isn't, like, uh, like anime, if you want to go with that, but, it, but he, he's still playing Wukong. Oh yeah, in that, ki in that monkey kid Lego. Yeah. I mean, whoever decided to pick Sean Schemmel for that, like, still, like, that was the most genius movie, movie in my, my opinion. Because, like, he really, like, his vo he's using Goku's voice, which kind of works 
for both sides when he's serious and playful. So honestly, I think it was a great move. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sarta said, "Gigi Kid Goku had a completely different voice. I think it, it's an actual kid doing the voice." Uh, yes, Muteki. It says, "Remember uh, a first four, uh, uh, first form cell yelling in perfect f uh, form cell body." Yes. Oh yeah, my God. Budokai yeah, Wan, yeah. <laughs> you see perfect cell, and you still hear him go and stuff like that. That's because. Yeah. Uh, his voice never change. Know. In Japanese, his voice has always been Norio Wakamoto. Yeah, and he never changes his, like, there, there is no, like, he still so, sounds the same if he's, he's the first semi or perfect form. While the, here in the dub, we, you know, we have, we have th uh, three, different, three different. Three yeah. So, like, when they just see, like, oh, it's first form. Honestly, I don't understand how they couldn't kind of fumble that. Wouldn't it be like at some point saying like perfect cell or something like that? Be like, oh yes, now perfect. Yeah, yeah. The, I don't know. Does the one who voices perfect cell voices all three forms? So he just. I, I don't remember his name. I just noted like. Uh, cell Uh, even. Clark. What is he doing? Uh, uh, also, let's see. Uh, so as I said, uh, Sean Shemmel did some background voices in the original Berserk. Uh, and, and then said that, that times two oolong voice is basically a crime. I don't know what, what the one is referring to, but... Okay, he does. He does uh, do all all three forms. Uh, I was just curious because like it's legit like different inflections and all that. Mm -hmm. So I was just curious if he actually did. Oh, huh. apparently he's the voice for Rolento. In Street Fighter. Yeah. I, yeah. Also, I keep forgetting. It's he, he voices Handsome Jack in Borderlands in the Borderlands games. I always forget about that. Every time. Did you say the borderline game? <laughs> <laughs> the borderline game? <laughs> I probably said that. I was no, going to say, yeah. um, <laughs> when going back to Xenoverse, uh, in Xenoverse 1, one of my favorite uh, voice clips of Trunks, oh, the random ones that he does, uh, you mentioned how, you know, in Xenoverse 2, when... Uh, what was it? Krillin, Sunny Straight as Krillin when he was supposed to yell out Frieza's name, but he, you said he just said Frieza. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in Xenoverse One, there was a there was a random clip that uh, Eric Vale did as Trunks whenever you're speaking to him when he's still Xeno Trunks because he's guiding the the but you know your created characters. Every time when you talk mm -hmm. to him, he always has this voice clip where he says, "Hey." Oh yeah, I knew this. Was, I had a feeling that one we were going for. Hey, <laughs> it's hey. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that one actually until when they started hinting towards that. Uh, that 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 voice oh. clip is so gold. Uh he was Paragus in the soup in uh, Broly Super Movie. Oh, you're. Uh, Talking about Japanese or v uh, English VA? Uh, uh, Damon heard... Clark, the yeah, cell voice. Because mm -hmm. I, I didn't know. Who, Young I was curious. Because I was because yep. I was curious that if he actually voiced also all three stages of Cell, because uh, they're like honestly they sound kind of different. All all three forms sound so different from each other. It's like I was curious to, like if he did all four or three or if he actually just went perfect. But no, he does all three. Which honestly props to the man that he can... Well, yeah, like, that's cool they did that, but... He breaks the uh, American... version of the game. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it did. Uh, so they're like, Norio Wakamoto just talks the same. Thanks, team. But that is pretty good that you did that. Thanks for breaking the dubs. Uh, and again, how did they know the game was going to do that, you know? Yeah, no, they... Very true. Uh, 
Oh, Seen. good news. My pen's showing up tomorrow. Oh, nice. nice. Congrats, man. Uh, oh. Congrats, but this. Yeah. I still have to pay also uh, more of the cable. Because they didn't just tell me to pay everything there. They're like, oh, and now here's more. Why don't you just let me pay it all then? Now you gotta wait for. Hey. Man. They're just being dicks. That's literally yeah, what exactly. they're doing. Honestly, at this point, like, it's. It is absolutely awful that you that this, this keep happening. Um, Even when you have a job and you're paying back, they're still gonna find ways to screw with you. Right? Legit. <laughs> the only good news is I still have money for some stuff, and I get paid next month. So. Well, I was gonna say there's other good news for you today. Cubs won. Yes! 5-1, to one, too. Not Because usually when they've been winning, even, even when they win, they win like 2-1. to one, Something dumb mm -hmm. like that. But they actually won and won pretty, pretty handily today. Yeah, I was expecting you to be marking out during the beginning of the stream. With yeah. a win, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been like, let's go Cubs won, yes! Take that, yeah. south side of Chicago. I'm, I'm, I'm still with Fire Hilarious when you told me, like, the reason apparently they had been on, like, the biggest losing streak of their life. Or, like, the, enti the entirety of, like... Oh! The goat curse. I was just like, what, the yeah. curse? Like that? And he's like, yeah, the goat curse. I was like, the goat curse? What the fuck? Yeah, I had, ex I had explained the curse to... To Alex, Kyle, he didn't know. <laughs> I, I knew about their, their losing streak because, like, you know, like you watch like American. Um, I mean, I get cartoons in there from there, or like I hear the jokes and I'm like, yeah, it's being like a Cubs fan, something like that, because uh, they always mm -hmm. rather lose. Yeah, like, I, I never knew why. Like, actually, like, yes, <laughs> me. Yes, they. Well, you what? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, they actually were. Um, <laughs> when you said see. the the goat curse, I. Immediately, my mind was thinking of Adam Sandler's goat from the CD, What the Hell Happened to Me. The what now? Adam Sandler's goat? Yeah, the what now? Uh, I have... it, he, he, ha he had a, he oh. had like a skit CD where he does uh, like two-thirds skits and one-third songs. It's called uh, What the Hell Happened to Me. It, I have it came... never heard of this. It, oh, it you mean ghost CDs? Yeah, yeah, because that's where Bobby Boucher came from, technically. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Chef's been saying some things, so. Yeah, so just uh, listen to the just listen to the goat from that CD. It's basically just Adam Sandler being Adam Sandler, <laughs> okay, talking so as like a uh, talking as like a like a disgruntled goat of some type. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Star Citizen said, yeah, all the characters in the universe games have one of those clips where you talk to them, kind of like Yakuza. Uh, L LPH is asking, like, so who's gonna uh, be playing Handsome Jack in the uh, live-action uh, Border Borderlands movie? I don't know. Uh, I keep forgetting there's a movie being made. Particularly says, in these days, in American cartoon voice act acting, they can get more people to voice instead of having one person do multiple roles. The dub industry needs to learn that. Hey, Omega! Uh, I mean, my counter is that you still have, like, some some moments where, like, even in Japan, they, they have, like, one... Like, some of them voice multiple characters in, in a show, something like that. I mean, the biggest offender, in my opinion, is still, like, mad respect to her, but Nozawa, like... Damn, did, make, did they have to make her, like, eh, like, turtless, Bardock, Go yeah, on. exactly. Goten. Yep. Goku himself. Goku or, Goku or Goku adjacent knows how it has to really say. Like, wow. Vegito. Gogeta. <laughs> Go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Goku Black. <laughs> but yeah, no, like, uh. Just, um. That's his name! Don't shoot. <laughs> yes. But yeah, he's gonna start shout real. Star Child wrote about 
Uh, MLB um, the, the show. Um, MLB the show 23 got drafted by the Cubs, but after two seasons, I was the only one doing anything on that team, so I asked for a trade. And next year, I won the World Series with another team. <laughs> Even in the game. Even oh. in the game. <laughs> LPS says, uh, so Cubs wins and CM Punk pulls a rock on the PPV, uh, on the uh, pay-per-view today. Uh, it was a good day. Yeah. Especially since Punk is a Cubs fan himself. Yeah. Uh, that is true. <laughs> so, he, he's not only just a fan of Pepsi, folks. He is a fan of the Chicago Cubs. And from uh, what Jerry was telling me, he's from the north side. Of Chicago, which is yeah. where the Cubs are. Between north and, what's the difference between north and south? A lot. Um, oh, right. oh yeah. There's a lot. I'll, it's I it's, hard, I'll, I'll it's hard. It's yeah. It's hard. It's uh, on a on yeah, it's it's describe. Crazy. Uh, but there's like, a lot of people. How much should, uh, should answer the question? What the hell happened to me? Uh, it then says Borderlands movie going to be the best live action video game movie. The Borderlands, the Borderlands movie got Kevin Hart. Uh, the movie had the producer that made Spider-Man 3, Mobius, and Meta. Oh, okay, well, well we're fucked. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, OTS is gonna... Uh, oh, uh, the movie, uh, it's gonna overshadow Sonic and Mario and Mortal Kombat movies. I now know you're actually trolling. I'm looking forward to Keanu, hearing Keanu Reeves play Shadow. Still waiting for that first trailer where you actually get to hear his voice for the character. Because as we all know, 2020, 2024, 2024 is the year, year of Shadow, folks. Yeah, both generation where they apparently like have an entirely different team making all of his stages for, for gen the generation game. Is a, mm -hmm. And... Of course, then we have the movie that's going to be straight up a retelling of the best Sonic game ever. Yeah. Sonic Adventure 2. And there's no argument, because I that it is the best one. And as I've been told, apparently there is going to be a rendition of Live and Learn in, in the movie. I was like... Yep. By, that's just uh, by Crush 40. Oh, they are actually doing it too? Oh my, this movie's going to be great. <laughs> It's I'm about so time we actually got some actual music from Sonic games in a Sonic movie for once. Yeah. But, like, I, I will... Oh, like, like future Sonic games are good, too, that came after. Uh, I actually do like Heroes. Uh, some mm -hmm. aspect of Shadow is fine. I just don't like the branching paths of Shadow. Yeah. It's kind of annoying when you want to get, like, when you need to get the... Uh, in my opinion, getting the, the the full evil path because that one is really hard to do because one of the missions you have the mission we need to find, I believe, a, a find and arm all the bombs, and you need to do that within like 15 minutes, and uh, it, it, it's kind of annoying having to look all not knowing where it is. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, Omega and, says, and I got a nice win today. First 13 episode of Dragon Ball Super on Blu-ray sealed on eBay for under five pounds. That is cheap. That, that's pretty good. Uh, um, I, was al I was also going to say, um, we can't forget, and speaking of Sean Schimmel, we can't forget he voiced uh, Doom Eyes in uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog. Wait, that was him? I never knew that. I have yep. not. Damn, okay, I did not know that. Of course you get Dan Green as Knuckles in that game. Oh, yeah, but that, that's because, like, he, the uh, Heroes of Four... I believe it was from Shadow and Forward they had the four kids mm -hmm. uh, dubbed, because I think they still have some of the original in Heroes, and then afterwards it was the four kids, like, yeah. cast. Uh, I really do miss and... the original voice cast for the Sonic characters. I mean, yeah, I, I, I always have, like, a special, like, place when it comes to, like, uh, Adventure 1 and 2 voice to cast, but, like, mm -hmm. I was never, like, one of those, one of these people who grew, like, uh, who went, um, uh, you know, grew, what was it, was it Jason, Jason Griffith that took over? 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't remember, remember some of the people back in the day, like, uh, was it Syrah, uh, was it Sun? Some, like oh, some of the old, like, uh, uh, Sonic fans in the back in the day who was like, Man, Jason Griffith uh, ki basically killed my dog. Jesus. He was voicing. I, I, some of them were like legit going like because he got a new voice, Sonic got a new voice, and, and the current one doing it, they just went. Sh some of them went ballistic on on that person. And uh, I mean, these are the same people who were like, you know, like, oh, modern Sonic, how dare he have green eyes? Because he's supposed to look like classic. Classic, classic. When he can even when we got classic, the the fans were still going like, "Oh my God, classic Sonic has buckles on his shoes. He's not supposed to have buckles on his shoes." Mm -hmm. Legit, like there's you you can't you can't make Sonic fans happy. No, you you never can. Um, Sasha says. Uh, I don't think people will watch the movie regardless of who's in it. Pretty much all the big body movies for the past five years have either flopped or didn't make profit, even the new meta movie. Oh, I'm muted. Jeez, oh. Oh, that's, that's why you've been so quiet. I was, I was, I was, because when I was talking, that thing happens where like you respond and it's so perfectly in timed. I think mm -hmm. you heard me. Uh, I, I was like, I was so curious. Was like, uh, uh, you were talking, to, and I was like, yeah, man, and you're like, yeah. So I thought you were saying, yeah, like you were responding to me. <laughs> uh, so what did, what did you say then? I, I, legit uh, I, don't, I, was, I just want to talk, I was just bringing up Gundam in terms of fans caring about Sonic's looks. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And like how, you know, you got Gundams, but, but the thing is, it's funny enough, despite Gundams, the, the original Gundam, I'm just making, taking it uh, Specifically, the original Gundam has various things that make it the original Gundam, right? About its specs and how it looks and everything, right? Yeah. Uh huh. But have you ever seen the original anime and how the Gundam looks so <laughs> very blocky in, in a lot of episodes? And you know what I mean, like the yeah. nobody, you know, just like that's yet and yet like Sonic fans can't handle buckles on shoes. I'm like, come on, now, the original Gundam looked all messed up, but we, you know, who cares? I can show someone. Some people even made sculptures. Here's a Gundam based on the anime. <laughs> it's like a huge head and like tiny body and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, because I, I, I've, <laughs> I've seen people, people like to use the, like you know, those really weird like when they, when the head looked so blocky. It was uh, <laughs> the the the, the kind of like the, the mouth area looked massive. It took up like eighty percent, like sixty percent of the face and all that and. Uh, but yeah, it was like I uh, it, it is hilarious that like just I remember back in in like the twenty tens when like that was around where, where Sonic fans was kind of like peak of like being petty of like for pe being petty sake. Mm hmm. Because like uh, how well, dare I mean... he have what? Who dare? How dare he be like in a different style and modernized, showing well... growth. Yeah, I I can see that. I mean, uh, honestly, I really don't mind which uh, which version uh, of Sonic is gr you know great, the classic or the modern version, because I think they're both awesome in their own right. Yeah, because they're basically the same goddamn character. Well, according, unless you you know play Forces, where they're basically like, oh no, he's a different dimension of him. It's not even like. It's another like dim it's another like timeline of him or something. I was like, no, that's still stupid. Like, it's it's like how people say that they prefer the name Robotnik over Eggman. I was like, they're just the same character. So like, what's the what's the problem? He's taking away the oh, yeah. names that we see, grew up. Alex, you see what Star Child wrote? Because it's true. Well, so, uh, and Mutecki. Yep. Yeah, a lot of episodes do to. to Due to time crunch, I'm not surprised. I mean, uh, uh, everything says also. I know Boom caused a lot of uh, de uh, debates on redesigns. Knuckles was super buff, and Sonic was more longer, and sc and Scar I mean, the Boom thing was an entirely different aspect. 
Yeah, that that was a different uh, that was a different that was, world. That was supposed to like be like a half a half of a, like an IP reset and like mm -hmm. and, and, it, and its own because yeah, like, they didn't because they didn't know what to do with Sonic at that point because like no one really liked Lost Worlds. No one really like uh, you oh, had I the mean... issues of like episode you know the uh, Sonic Four episode one and two which had some issues. Uh, I, I mean, I'm I'm kind of partial towards uh, Sonic uh, Sonic Lost World because I thought that was kind of underrated in some regards. But yeah, I can see why yeah. a lot of people don't like it. Uh, so like they just tried something, and the, what they tried was basically like, all right, let's do a straight up redesign, make uh, make Sonic like let's redesign them and kind of like some of the character traits. Yeah, and I honestly, think I don't, mentioned. Don't, Sorry, I was first. I was gonna say um, out of all the characters who got the redesign that I didn't really have an issue with when it came to Sonic Boom was uh, Tails because I don't think there was a lot that was uh, lost in the transition, uh, you know, in his character design for that show. Yeah, I I, I feel like him and like like the Sonic ways him and Amy didn't get much changed. It was mostly yeah. Sonic and Knuckles that got like the biggest ones because mm -hmm. hand wraps and like the scarf thing for Sonic and Knuckles, of course, like he got an massive oh. change. Is that him? Oh. oh, there he is. Hello, Metal. Hey, you late? He's muted. He's muted at the moment. Anyway, but I mean, oh, I'll oh, hey, Demon Wolf. Now Unleashed has some good aspect, honestly. But like, I like the day, uh, the day stages, and honestly, if it weren't for like the re extremely repeated combat music of the game, I I wouldn't be so vastly against uh, the night stages because like, there were you could do some fun stuff on the night stages. You know, there was only one thing that they needed to do with the Werehog stages to make to make them actually uh, a lot more decent is adding a shadow underneath. Werehog Sonic, or Sonic uh, and Werehog. Yeah, because when you're places. doing the platforming platforming sections, or when you have to get on different platforms, there is no shadow underneath him. Yeah, no, you, you yeah, I remember, like, there was some issues with that. Um. Oh. But, I'll say, I'll say this, when it came to Boom, at least. Say what you want about the, about the crappy-ass games. Um. That at least we got... The, the TV <laughs> show is uh, is amazing, and honestly, it's like one of the. It is so funny. The, mm -hmm. the writers must have had a field day with all the jokes. It was so oh, yeah. self aware and poking fun like at everything. It was actually it was great. Oh yeah, the Sonic Boom cartoon is excellent. Yeah, because I think they got the writers from uh, Happy Tree Friends to work on that show. Really? Yeah. yeah well, one know. of the writers. One of the writers Neither. from Happy Tree Friends, I think. Um, boom. Uh, ah, uh, better late than never. Hey, yeah, uh, we were worried about. Okay, you, I thought I would. I thought I would make it back in in time, but I guess not. Uh, yeah, I even left a message to TGF. It just said, uh, we oh, just tagged yeah. in Alex because we didn't know if you were doing up. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, boy. Does not let my phone die, so. Hey, Team Wolf, how's it going? He said, Sup. It also depends on you. which console version of Unleash you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I heard, like, that there's some massive difference depending on the version you played. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I did, I did play the PS3 version, you know the Same. HD version that we got. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, let's get some more. Looks like it says too bad, play. too bad. Uh, the cartoon uh, cover put boom at 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, Demon Wolf says I, it also been yeah the, the version. Uh, uh, Matek apparently has a question for you, M Metal. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't know how to read that. It's gonna, uh, so... Let me see, let me see. 
It's the one on the Star Shells, the recent one. He said, if Giovanni is supposed to be in Gone in Heart Gold, who was the leader of Team Rainbow? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Rainbow. Basically. Oh, okay. What's the best way to describe Rainbow? Uh, not real. Not the I real Team Rocket? Uh, well, yeah, they're like a combination of, like, all the big bad guys over the years. And, and such. Like, all, like, the main villains. Because you got your... Your G, you got your Giovannis, and then what was it after that? The what was it? Aqua and uh, Magma. And then was it Team Galactic? Like etc. etc. Like, kind of like on like that. Like whoever the head of the, whatever the villainous organization for that game was or the series was. Uh, all right. Well, Starter is asking, some people out there don't want to admit they, uh, that maybe they don't like things the way they used to. And it's easy mm. to blame some of the new stuff that comes out based on old properties. I experienced this with a friend last week when we were talking about Shredder's Revenge. He said he didn't like it because it wasn't the same. And uh, Starshot was like, I don't know what you expect it to be. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I mean, that, that's a good example of like people be like, like pe also people keep always, always saying like they want the same. No, you want the nostalgia what you feel about whatever old, like what you played back in the day. There's nothing wrong with also spicing up the property. Like, I a, a good one. Metal Slug Tactics. Caught by surprise because you know usually what it is. Yeah, <laughs> and I played the demo, and honestly, that game is fun. Of course, I also like tactics games, so it's easy for me to like accept mm -hmm. like its new thing that's gonna happen to it. Of course, but still, like, and then of course, like, if I don't accept it, like, I just don't. I won't play it. Like, Yakuza. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, it, I understand it changes because they want to change up the formula, but at the same time, I don't like the formula. But, it just means that I, I won't really play it. You know? For me, it's not... It's not because for me, it's not the Yakuza that I, I, I like and play. Uh, I feel like it doesn't fit turn-based, but uh, if people like it, then I guess... I'm in the minority in that sense. Mm, yes. Because Jerry yeah, understand my frustrations with like. Yes, because I, I have I have the same frustration. <laughs> yeah, I hear you myself. Like I'll. Oh, if Yakuza, if uh, Yakuza Eight comes out on PlayStation, I'll probably play it and and you know, still get it because like I'm I'm not gonna buy money for something I'm not gonna I know I'm not gonna enjoy. Right. Also, by the way, I hate this boss. Uh, oh, yeah, this... Annoying. Yeah, this boss in Milmo Hime story, it is... Uh, what, what can I say? It can go suck a dick because of how cheap it is. Uh... <coughs> Muteki says, but Yakuza 8 is on PlayStation. Yes, but it's not on... Pre it's not on Plus... Oh mm -hmm. yeah, very true. Naturally, uh, like the, the I, I guess I didn't. Mean, I, I guess I. No, you, yeah, you, you just said. I knew you meant plus, but you did just say place. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. We we, we figured. <laughs> no worries, man. Oh. Uh, oh lord, uh, and of course. Oh, go I ahead, guess, double R. I guess we should also mention that this week, uh, Kingdom Hearts finally came out on uh, Steam. Yeah, I did, which is good. 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 Yep, I got me the it's good that it's... package. Ah, uh, nice. It's probably going to happen towards the end of the... Uh, at least give it a couple more months. In that case, let's give it a few months or a year. Or a year. Oh, about uh. Yakuza 8? Yeah. Yeah, more it's probably going to... It's the same reason like why I'm waiting for... Um, uh, Rebirth. 
because like I know Square is gonna put it there like eventually. Mm -hmm. This it's how I played the uh, remake, so right. I can just I, wait as it come up. I still hold on to the belief that that game is game of the year contender material. I I really oh, enjoyed Rebirth? Rebirth when I played all the way through mm. it. But you know I'm, how people I'm, are gonna be like, oh, Metaphor is actually gonna get Game of the Year. I I'm know, that, maybe. I'm actually I'm actually looking forward to for Final Fantasy IX. Oh, the remake, yes. Yeah. Whenever whenever that gets officially unveiled. Which they more or less eventually. It is gonna happen because like. Oh it's, yeah, it, it will. Might be a Tokyo Game Show, or maybe it might be the end of the like for a. Uh, award show. Uh, let's see. Starts. I said the only extra game I, uh, I got full price was zero because I got on um, uh, Japanese uh, PSN store before it was released over here. Other than that, I got I got the other ones I have for sale or free on plus. Uh, I think it says apparently game of the year is going to be the the rogue uh, rogue like game called Baltro. You basically play poker with. In a weird way. In a weird way. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's, yeah. It's very not straightforward. Mm-hmm. As I said, that metamorph game is rated T. Yeah. Yeah. I also learned about that oh, too. Yeah. So. I also heard positive things about the uh, Shinigami Tensei 5 re-release, or how you want to call oh, it. Oh yeah, the the re-release that came out on all platforms. Yeah, Shinigami Tensei 5 Vengeance. Yeah. Not Revengeance, just Vengeance. Yeah. You should write him from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> yes. You should you might as well. God damn it, Konami, where's... Metal Gear Rising 2. Oh, it's never happening. It, it, In it, hell. No. Unfortunately, it's never going, never going to happen. Unfortunately. Because the they're sleeping Konami on that. The, the, the only thing Konami cares about now is Yu-Gi-Oh! And more Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and Pachinko will well, catch you slot. Um, Metal could tell you about how much they care for Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Yeah, I saw one of the like a, someone talking about like basically Yu-Gi-Oh. Like if on let's see, what did the title like? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh's money problem. Of, like how how they do reprints and how they do like legacy car cards and all that. And it's kind of like. <laughs> Which is sad, because I mean, I, sure, I, I, I have, I've always said this before, I have issues with Mono Yu-Gi-Oh, but at the same time, like, it's, I, damn, I, I hope nothing, I, I hmm. want to go back to, like, how it used to be, like, and, and I don't mean format-wise, I just be like, I wanted to flourish. Um... Jackie says that apparently him and you metal are still mad for not getting magician and uh, blue eyes fusion. Yeah, I know. One day. One day. Mm. <laughs> uh, Star Trek said apparently Shinigami Tensei uh, Venge 5 Vengeance has been cool so far. It looks really <laughs> clean, and this version basically has all the story added into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, what, what Persona game is it, Jerry? Like, where you play an entirely different game story? What do you mean? Like, for Persona, like, you know, you play a different... Depending on your choice, you play, like, an entirely different story. Oh, Persona 1. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, it was... I was, I was thinking 2, but I just want to... And, and, and all of that is dummied out in the American. You can only play the one story in the American. Oh. It was just, like, too much text, we're just giving you one. Yeah, the real yeah the the actual game is supposed to let you play two stories. They're both they're completely, you know what I mean. You can't switch between them. Like they're just just 
two Persona once, technically. One's the Snow Queen route, and that's the one I got dummied out, we don't have here. And the other is the Sebek route, that's the one we all know. Sebek route, I don't know how you pronounce it. S-E-B-E-C. Yeah! Oh god! Oh, that's the correct one. Well, you I, defeat yeah, Super I... Guido. Uh, let's see what else has been... Uh, well, uh, not much more for Shaft. So, uh... Uh, what about your lit metal? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, it's a bit of uh, but if you look at the monsters, ain't, ain't, ain't no way that that's gonna pass for T. Uh, yeah! Oh, okay. So apparently, uh, this... uh, Vengeance has, has the base path called Cannon, and the other path called Vengeance. So apparently there is an entirely separate, uh... That, that's kind of cool, I guess. Also, that's smart for them, for, you know, Atlas, making you buy an entirely extra game. I can. I, I tried to get in Shin Megami Tensei, I just couldn't. I mean, because the no. endings. There's no definitive ending in that. in any of those games. Really? It's just. And, well, because you. You can play. It's like. How many endings can you get? Like, nine of them? It's. Where it's. You... It's. It's like. It's law, chaos, and neutral that you can yeah. always go for. Mm hmm. So, there's always three endings. They never tell you which one's the proper one. Exactly. Uh, okay, in that sense. And Shin Megami If. It, so what happened with Shin Megami If is, do you know what what started If? Uh, you know we, we got the game, but you know you know those Raido Kusunoha games. No, I mm, can't say I do. No. What? You know Raido Kusunoha? Bruh! Oh, bruh. Uh. Games. Devil Summoner. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I played one Devil Summoner game, I think. I think it was the second well, one I played. Raido Kuzunoha in the, in the 40s does stuff, which leads to Devil Summoner and Persona. Because what happens is. What he does stops Shin Megami 1 from happening. And since 1 uh, didn't happen, we got if. And then if to Persona, yada yada. I believe, if I remember correctly, you, you showed me like. Was it you showed me like a timeline of like all the different. Or yeah, Star like Child shot. found it. Yeah, Star oh, Child yeah, actually yeah. found it. Yeah, like an entire like, like chart of like. Oh all my gosh, how chart. <laughs> How the games like ties into each other, and how some like loop into each other, like an infinite loop, and all that. And uh, there was another one also. Like I think it was which which one? I know I played another another thing. I was trying to say like okay, it was. I don't remember which one that was called. Uh, okay. I think it was somewhere too. Uh, see, uh, Sasha said, uh, yeah, the, uh, well, Sasha knew what he was talking about. He said, yeah, there were some of the games. Uh, a lot of a lot of alternate stuff. It basically explains how some of them exist. Mm hmm. Yeah, and he even said Catherine is also a part of it, too. That I remember. It's, so it's kind oh, of no. funny how Persona are like, we can only do this in this world, and Personas don't affect and like actual, like straight up, like, you know, unless the, there's the five had the whole melding of the physical and the and the other world. And that's the only time. Mm -hmm. But yet, Devil Summoner and all these other games, and if happen with actual, like, demons and monsters and stuff. I don't... How does how do they reconcile that where Persona's like, it's only your imagination. These demons and monsters. All the other the other games in the same universe. Nah, they're real, homie. 
I don't know how did they explain that? They don't. Because Naoto even says, Oh, these are just... These are just figments of our mind that, like, over here... All these are just man-made things. He's like, well, how about the other games where they're clearly actually real and not just and not just part of like, uh. uh hey, little dude. <laughs> hey, it's up, my my man. I don't know. I don't know what that is. That is a good question. Then if 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 they're like, oh, now it feels like these are just human concoctions. Also, also the other games in the same universe, like like Devil Summoner. That 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 we're in we're in Act Three in Momohime story, so we um, have to know about the whereabouts of the Kuromitsu blade, which is uh, Jin Kuro's blade, and uh, the only one who knows is Yuki Nyojo. So we have to go west and find him. You know, I was gonna say. Uh, that's not exactly where Alex is going. You want to know where he's going? He's going here. The toilet. <laughs> because why wouldn't he? <laughs> you can see why they want you to be gathering those souls. Uh, when you're in sections of, uh, you know, of an area or a uh, land. That's the only way you can forge new swords, folks. So I think we need to either go to the land of Suruga or Totomi. So that's where we're going to find Yuki Nojo. Who has the Shinkage Yagyu style of swordplay. Oh, pheasant. I'm gonna cook up that little bastard. Got it. Hey, you gotta level up out of that. Nice! But, eh, yeah, they're easy to take down. I mean, the reward for uh, pheasant meat, it's, uh, it's pretty good for later cooking, uh, because you can actually, you know, cook meals yourself instead of having to go to restaurants and all. So as um, as Kisuke's story was more about dealing with uh, dealing with samurai and ninjas and all that, you can see that Momohime's story has bit has a bit more uh, of her dealing with oni and uh, monks. So you could say that more of her tale has uh, more of a uh, spiritual side to uh, to the overall plot. Oh, six Jiraiya show up. Who would have thought? Six pads of pain there. <laughs> yes. Maybe these guys are just getting some back now. Yeah, they're the ones who, they're the ones who made Jiraiya head out in the first place. Since all the Toads got uh, transformed by pain. Rachel said, "Uh." 360 hard drive basic use little rubber bands. No, the one was so bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. Uh, someone, yeah. 
that's why there were a lot of hardware uh, fault. Why the hardware fault rate on the 360 was uh, was so terrible because of how cheaply it was made. That's true. Let me ask if I knew um, about uh, Garo being played early by some. Yeah, I mean uh, Max got a lot of time on it. I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. What's up, metal? Yep. Oh no, I'm just laughing at some stuff. Oh, uh, the leak. Uh, the, the 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 fake Nintendo Direct leaks are starting to get funny. Of course oh. they are. Well, needless to say, all the wishful thinking is always so tasty when the actual direct happens, and it's usually very disappointing. I just, I just love laughing at these like fake ass leaks. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> I'm assuming all of them have a new F Zero game. Well, yeah, and of course, yeah, like what I, I, I recently said, it was GX plus AX remastered. I mean, it would be cool, but yeah, it's never gonna happen. Well, okay, here's the thing. Uh, AX is basically, in, like, entirely playable within GX, weirdly enough. But, like, yeah, it requires, like, a shit ton of hacking and fiddling. Yeah. Right. If you have, if you have those. But it is there. So if you have GX and an action replay or something like that, you, you can get access to the... You, you, yeah, you get, like, like basically very playable, a bit glitchy, but very playable version of uh, AX. So, yeah. If you don't want to track down one of, like, the only... What was it, like, ten cabinets they brought over to North America for that thing? Mm-hmm. I think that's what is it like at its height. There was only ten AX cabinets in the U.S. <laughs> Very because damn, because that, F, that is rare. Yeah, because because F F zero. <laughs> Every, everyone wants it. But okay, what were you guys when it was added, when they existed? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Even though Nintendo claim I always to be like, we can't really make a new F zero because we need to innovate every time we make a new game in our franchise. We have to always make something new. It's like, all right, make make it double dash. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah. What else is on that list? And I'm kind of curious to what people's. Oh, okay, this one's kind of hilarious because it also suggests that, uh, oh god, that the GTA Five is coming to the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> For one thing. Cloud for gaming, yeah. then, which people hate. Oh, and, ap and apparently, so is Mass Effect Legendary Edition, according to this one. <laughs> Alright, that's funny. That I, that uh, I can't believe, one? because you know how much uh, EA doesn't really give a shit about working on uh, Nintendo hardware these days. Oh, God, yeah. Like, why would they bother? Yeah. Like I said, I remember when the original F Zero launched. One of my relatives got a Super Nintendo, and it came with Mario World and F Zero. Uh, well, okay, what the hell was else on this one? Okay, I've 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 got the exact one I was looking at. Da -da -da, there's that. Okay, so so from top to bottom again. Apparently, this is all bullshit. Uh, it start. It's supposedly going to start with a thing for Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War, which is coming up in August. So. You know, oh, that's right. kind of a new shit. Me. Yeah, then, then we get some some other stuff. Including, supposedly, the announcement of a new Mario Party called Mario Party Multiverse Mania, which I doubt. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but finally, Bowshit is going to be included. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we get the, the, the triple pack. Then we get the, the triple punch of, uh, of Zelda shit with... Oh, guys, you know those... Those ports you want us to port? Well, guess what? They're getting ported to another port. Ah. <laughs> Basically saying that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD are getting Switch ports. Of course. Then, uh, there's some other stuff. Uh, there'll be a thing on the Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D make, apparently, which is cool. Which is, you know, whatever. Uh, of course, uh, F-Zero GX Remastered. Bullshit. Da -da 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 -da. And of course, then it's apparently gonna it's apparently gonna end with the trip with, with with basically the triple punch of announcing 
Metroid Prime 2 and 3 remastered as a two pack out on July 25th. Which yeah. I doubt. Yeah, true. And true. finally, announcing that Metroid Prime 4 is coming out on October 10th this year. No. Okay, yeah, no. It, no. 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 <laughs> no. Like, that, that, that is like some, some like, cope, cope ass, like, crack shit. That is the copest of copium I've ever heard. <laughs> Dear lord. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, some of these are starting to get. Like, like there's a point. With like people are so starved for a direct that they start like coming up with like the craziest bullshit of like copium for what they hope's in there. <laughs> I think the problem is that like because like Nintendo conditioned us at one point of like expecting a direct every month. Mm-hmm. Because they did that. at one point they did that every month there was a, a there wasn't a direct. Well, that was when then, Iwata was still around. And yeah, then it, and then it kept like dragging out. Then it became like every two months, every three months, and now at the point of like, yeah, we should be happy if we get like th like three or four a year. <clears throat> mm hmm. And like we got one this year, and we we're getting one potentially this month. We're not hundred sure, just speculations. And we're g getting one that's going to be focused on the, the the new consoles later this year. That that, that they've said. Uh, like, uh, that's true, because most people are... Uh, I, I Actually, I think it was Double R who might have brought this up early, like uh, on a previous thing. Uh, that Nintendo's most likely going to do kind of what they did for the Switch. They might, like, give us, like, a tease or, a f like, a very early first look. Uh -huh. Like, possibly at the upcoming Direct. Again, emphasis, uh, emphasis on possibly. Only for, like, a full-on, like... Oh shit! Here's a full-on explanation to come sometime next year because it's probably uh, probably poised to come out in 2025. So we that might too. get like the first initial like tease or like hype trailer for it or something. Yeah, so, kind of like what you they never did know. with the Switch. Yeah, exactly. Because what well, it was like October 2016 when they first showed the Switch uh, in that debut yeah. trailer, and then they had like a presentation in January of that upcoming year. No, they think. I can see that could be a possibility. My only thing I don't like that is because people are going to then do hyper speculate of, of things we have no clue what it's going to be about. Like, and then people are going to be like so hyped, expecting it to become, you know, like it's going to reinvent uh, the, the consoles like we ever thought about. Because, like, and then it turns out it's it's still a great console, but it's not what people are expecting. It's not like. Well, when you when you have a company like Nintendo, when they announce that a direct is going to happen this month, which is which it will, which most people are speculating yeah. is probably going to be this week coming up. No, but I'm, yeah, you no, know I'm, I'm that's the I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the console like speculation if they would like if right. They, if when this one happens, which uh, it's gonna, but well, I mean like uh, if they do the thing of like of I. Here's a quick look at like how it's gonna look. We're not gonna give you a name or anything. We're just gonna give you like that. People are gonna over speculate on the ass on like what the cause is gonna be, what it's gonna entail, like uh, because that's just I don't know. I'm, I'm just never been a big fan of like overhyping anymore. Like I, because I've got to the point where like I'm just gonna be like, all right, this is cool. I get to see things, and I'm gonna. I'm excited for the things I get to see, not the things uh -huh. that I think is gonna happen. Right. Because that's. I think that's been kind of like the issue with the industry. Also, is the whole of like hyping something up, and then you get massively disappointed because you expect this to be like over the moon. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's just say Nintendo fans do have a bit of a, a an issue with uh, overhyping themselves. Right, because they they think that they're bound to get all these surprises with all the predictions that they're getting, but it's just like, you know, what is up with you guys? And it's also the same thing when they do a direct that's, uh, you know, that's not centered on all games that's coming out for the system, like the indie presentation. They they think that a lot of games, like, you know, Nintendo-related games are going to pop up during that presentation. It's like, no! Oh, oh drop. Uh, oh, metal drop. Uh-oh. Oh. Man, let me tell you about the Nintendo. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going. On. Ah, I, mean, I hate. We... Did did it do to I... you, Metal? What my Mac does to me? Where it yeah, just thanks, out? Discord. Oh, yeah. Why? 
So at least I'm not <laughs> the Discord. only one, but what the heck? <laughs> it just does it for like like a couple of seconds. Yeah. And then it like reconnects, but it's annoying. Yeah, it, do it does it to me. It's super annoying. It does it to me on the Mac. I don't know why. Because it's an asshole, that's why. Apparently, I guess it was uh, like, no, no, you like us a little too much. Let's, let's... I, I don't know. But like it says, Direct is uh, on the 8th, uh, 18th, uh, which is a Tuesday? Rumored, he says? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Uh, I could see that being possible, but I'd say more than likely it's probably going to be either this Wednesday or Thursday. Because they tend, because it seems like they, that's it, when they usually have directs right around that time. They or, tend, uh, yeah, time they tend to, to do like in the middle. Tend to do like in the middle of the week. It's. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we're gonna see, and I'm assuming like when that happens. Uh, I mean, Kyle's probably gonna react to that. So. Well, if it's on Tuesday, I and if it's well, in the morning, then I. If it's in the morning, then I would be able to react to that. But if it's in the afternoon, then unfortunately I will not be able to because I'll be at work during that time. Mm. Yeah, thanks, Job. <laughs> According to Mateki, apparently if it's a Wednesday, it's a national holiday. This is the 19th. I don't know if it makes that a national holiday. Or make it the first day of summer on, you know, this coming Thursday. That'll, that would work. No. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, we'll see. My 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 only hilarious is that like you have like a lot of like big like Nintendo fanboys will be like if, if my game is not in the in this direct, it is the worst direct ever. I love those reactions too because it's like you can never be happy. Apparently, people can never be happy for other people's like for uh, like when they get their games. I remember when I saw. Uh, Someone basically. So, I understand how it is to be kind of disappointing in in some aspects. Like, big Mega Man fan, we get maybe one Mega Man game every like six or seven years, and then it's like nothing. Yep. And but like, instead of being happy for other people, like within the uh, like, yeah, you might not like Resident Evil, Street Fighter. Or monster hunters or like that, but like, I don't feel like they have to give you. That is unfortunately a very un, like non-profitable like series, because Capcom shot themselves in the foot around the 2010s when they shoved out so much Mega Man that everyone got burned out on Mega Man. Ooh, and the thunder rolls. Is it storming in your area, Metal? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh... I did hear we could get some storms earlier today, so I guess we are! Yay! <laughs> I feel like I've had the... I feel like I'm getting reverse summer, because, like... For three weeks, I've had almost nothing but, like, great clouds and rain. So much rain. And it's like, man, I don't even, like, this doesn't feel summer at all. Oh, it's gonna be hard for me to hear the thunder all the way, uh, here in, uh, Scandinavia. <laughs> No, LP, it says, so any news for Metro Prime 4? Nope. What's Metro nope. Prime 4? Yeah, we're exactly. in. Exactly. I can, I can what you, is? I can tell you something about Metro Prime, Prime 4. 4. Yeah, sure, what? Uh, be, 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 being in the industry and not actually, you know, being like a loser, but still getting in, in the industry, technically, uh, they were hiring for Metro Prime 4 last year. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, I wouldn't expect it anytime soon. Especially since, like, they... Didn't they, like, scrap it twice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were hiring yeah, they again. And I I, I tried. <laughs> I kind of knew. I was like, this is a long shot, but I tried anyways. But yeah, yeah. The, yeah you never the, know. It, 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 it was for Metroid Prime 4 that they were that I was hmm. considered for. Uh, Lodun says, getting juggled in a sword fight is embarrassing. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Uh, Tekken says, I will say this. In uh, I will say this. In di Nintendo Direct, in Direct Nintendo will talk new stores in San Francisco. And the LPS says, so it's not dead as Beyond Good and Evil 2 dead. Right. Like, I, I, I could tell you for a fact that it is being worked on. I just don't know how far along because, you know, I was, they said no. So to, to It's also Metro, it's also like <laughs> Metro games. Like, they, 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 fuck, they, they were notorious for, like, <clears throat> taking forever to get something. But usually when they come out, they're pretty good. And that part's not an NBA either, so I don't have to worry about Nintendo getting back for that. I wasn't even, not, I, wasn't, I wasn't even in. Like, yeah, that's they didn't hire me. <laughs> they can't be mad. Uh, exactly. Uh, is this, uh... Uh, but he says, uh... Mm, Spider, you sure it's not dead like Beyond Good and Evil 2? Or Half-Life 3? Well, Half-Life 3 is more or less being confirmed that they, they're not working on it at all. Because according to Valve, is that they just don't know what to do with what, with the story. They kind of wrote themselves in a... Apparently, it, like... Let's call it in a wall. Like they wrote themselves in a corner. Oh, Yuki Nojo is pissed. You can see his uh, Yakuza aura going around him. Hell page or the last game of Thrones books. Book. Yeah, that one also been taking its sweet ass time. Yep. Or Mega Man Classic, or Mega Man X, or Mega Man ZX, or Mega Man Legends. Got him. Fun well, fact is that Yuki Nojo takes some time to defeat because he always gets his new blades out whenever they repair themselves. But uh, I was gonna say, but but yeah, like uh, fun fact, uh, the only two Mega Man uh, ser uh, series that actually got completed was on the GBA game. It was on the GBA. Mm -hmm. Mega Man Zero and Battle Network actually got conclusions. Yep. Take a but everyone makes uh, George uh, George R. R. Martin look cool. The picture of him standing and looking at us. Yeah. I never got into Game of Thrones, like the be the books or the the TV show. Like I just couldn't. I watched the first episode and it's like, and and I was just going like, oh my god, this is the, the series the, like it's so cool, it's so pretty. It's like, yeah, that's why I don't like it. Honestly, I, I, that's not my type of shows. Uh. <laughs> Demon Wolf. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> Get all that with my new custom robo game. Good question. Oh, custom robo, yeah. Hey, what about Chibi Robo? <laughs> I don't know what happened with Chibi Robo Ziplash. I think uh, hype for Chibi Robo has kind of died down. Was, uh... Oh, it was. Wait, that's a Nintendo franchise? I was assuming it was a uh, Capcom franchise. Nope. Uh, Custom Robo is a uh, Nintendo property. Huh. I never knew. Of course, I believe it never got outside. Uh... I, think I don't the... know if it ever. I, I don't even know if it came out. I uh... think the game you're thinking of is Gotcha Force. That was put out by Capcom that's... for the GameCube. Ro yeah. Okay, yeah, so because that's what we're out here. Custom Robo. Yeah, no no one had ever heard of it. It never got outside uh, Japan and North America. Ah. That's why I was never really. Uh, like, that's why it was, I wasn't was sure who made it. I just, I've heard about the game and all that, but I was like, no idea who did it. It looked Capcom ish. Mm -hmm. Uh. That'd be nice, LPH. 
Taku says that Noah kids. brother's sister to watch the Game of Thrones together. It was weird. Lord Doom says, I also never got into Lord of the Rings. Uh, well, Chris of course, the because there's a lot of people with knife ears in that universe. <laughs> uh, I'll that's the only thing that keeping uh, WBD alive. Oh, Lord of the Rings, not uh, yeah. Batman. I think it both. Yeah. LPH says, can someone remake Mad World for the PS5 and Xbox Series X? Uh, That'd be nice. It is it. Honestly, it deserves that and Anarchy Reigns. Yeah. I, I, I would love to see like a, a, a re-release or a remaster of uh, our Anarchy Reigns. And Mad World. Yeah, it's related. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We're part of the same universe. <laughs> I like what Lord Doom said. That wasn't that wasn't the reason, but thanks, Double R. I'm gonna start saying that <laughs> the reason why he never got into Lord of the Rings was because of people with knife ears in that universe. <laughs> you know what? There you go. It's a new reason. <laughs> I, you know, I keep forgetting about that, but take care point. Chainsaw Lollipop is getting ported. Oh, yeah, finally. A, I believe it's getting a remaster and everything like that. Yeah. What happened there? I haven't heard much about that like since it got announced. I see that, and apparently there's a trailer that came out yesterday. <laughs> I think, wait, I think LPH mentioned it yesterday, and I wasn't sure why. Oh, they, that was why. I didn't, I didn't know that came out. Yeah, apparently it's, apparently it's, it's called oh, Love yeah. Book Change a Repop. Yep. You know, I didn't even realize that James Gunn actually had a hand in working on that uh, chainsaw, lollipop chainsaw. So apparently, uh, lollipop chainsaw repop allows players to select original mode, which is based on the original release, or repop mode, which has less violence and use more pop art damage effect. This trailer uses in-game footage of the repop mode. I, I guess that's cool. Uh, see some. Damn, her model looks great. Oh yeah. I miss this game. I haven't played this game in years. I tried to get into Lollipop Chainsaw, but uh, got too repetitive for me. There's always something about uh, Suda 51's games that I just felt kind of held themselves back from like peak greatness but that's just that's just me oh yeah i, mm -hmm. I understand i think i just like for me i always i always get drawn in by like the characters and the story and, I, and for that i don't mind the repetitive of its like gameplay mm -hmm. it's like it's what like why i like um uh no more heroes and all that because like it's because those games are high, super repetitive, but like the story is tiny enough to like me you know, of me going like, I want to see one of those. Hmm. I mean, I guess it's because I got so freaking spoiled with a lot of uh, platinum games titles or how they did how they do most of their games uh you know even before they formed platinum games when they were still at capcom i guess i've been oh, yeah, yeah. way too spoiled with the with that type of game design oh i mean definitely like when they really uh when they got to do make most of the games they tend to like the, the gameplay was always very very like solid mm-hmm But but I will say, uh, in in all uh, in the defense of Suda Fifty One, I really do enjoy the No More Heroes games. Those are always fun. Yeah. Besides, I mean, he he, he even made one of the few games or one of the few series on the Wii that actually did not suck as a third party game. 
or third party series. I mean, I know we talked about No More Heroes, but I'm assuming that's. What else did he do? Uh, Director for Super Fire Pro Wrestling 3, uh, Final Bout and Special. Uh, Shad Shadows of the Damned. He did that one. Shadows of the Damned. Oh, was that the one with the the talking gun? Uh, I think so. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's the game Funny, that both... It's one, it's, one of, it's one of the few games I have never played. That's Although the game I have where, it, where him and Shinji Mikami collaborated. Ah, uh, oh uh, yeah, for this special should be coming right about Super One. I forget that, that, that this game got a re-release two years ago. It, it last year. Mm -hmm. Yep. I should go check it up for prices for that later on. Uh, Killer Seven. It's been, always been like all my. Why I play Killer Seven? I'm gonna run to it. I think I got the GameCube version of Killer Seven on me. Oh, that and the PC version. Oh, he did one of the Fatal Frame games, too. Mass Suda 51 Lumen. did? Yeah, he was uh, director and writer for that for Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Oh, interesting. Huh, that's, uh, that's interesting. No one cares, too. Yeah, you build of Evangelion Snatch Snatcher for 2011? Oh. Writer and voice actors. Never heard of that one. Never heard of that one. Liberation Maiden. I remember this game. Yep, that that was the uh, the whole level five project with uh, those the compilation of games made by you know great game designers and all that. And yeah, Liberation I remember this. Maiden. It was actually. Yeah, it was a pretty neat little. Uh, what was it like a schmuck? I would say. Yeah, I it was a uh, sh shoot 'em up. I that, yeah, that I was, don't know. That was the only game in that collection I ever bought, and I I got to admit Man. that that one I really enjoyed quite a lot too. Yeah, same. It was the only one I actually I was like, oh, that looks neat. The one I wanted to play was uh, Crimson Shroud by y Yatsumi Matsuno. The the dungeon RPG that had like uh, you know like actual RPG mechanics from like the Dungeons and Dragons books you know where they had like the die and all that uh, what game did you say it was again? I think Crimson uh, Shroud Crimson Shroud Shroud uh, alright what's Shep is saying uh, uh, Porta Okay, so it's more remakes. Really, the context says really the used copy goes for a hundred bucks. Well, now you know, guys. Yeah, define repetitive. Um, I'm gonna take it one to understand what you mean with repetitiveness, like. And eh, just seems like. It, 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 it just seems like the, the 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 levels in the game they just seem like they drag on for a bit too long. That's what I was getting yeah. at in Lollipop Chainsaw. Yeah, he says then, ah, he, he, like, ah, C, double R. Yeah. Uh, Logan says, another sound fight I need to make. I uh, know more heroes. Uh, one for one of his lightsabers. Apparently, the, the latest uh, game for Suda is called Hotel Barcelona, which I apparently got revealed last year on at Tokyo Game Show, which huh. I... Oh my! Oh my God! It's a! It's a! It's my two favorite uh, weird people with numbers at the end. Swari sixty five. The dude who did Deadly Premonition. Oh yeah, I rem I I haven't played that game, but I am familiar with it. Deadly Premonition or Diddly Premonition? A deadly Premoni Premonition. Make <laughs> sure. It's not a play. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you double checked then. I had no relation in that knockoff of Deadly Premonition. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this game looks to be like a. Um, what the hell is this game? It looks nothing what I expected it to be like. Who do you measure ish feelings for? 
Well, knowing them, the, the, the goddamn story is gonna be absolutely weird. I mean, Deadly pre Premonition was uh, more or less a... It, it was just uh, Queen Peaks. Yes. Uh, what else is going on? Let's see... Lord Doom said... Oh, I need to make a Simba and Spider-Man one so I can have the SHOCKER speech on it. <laughs> uh, 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 the uh, uh, SHOCKER! Uh, <laughs> still, that breaks my heart. That didn't show up in Marvel Spider-Man 2 on the PS5. That would have been goaded. The tech is asking Spark and Zero, who are the 20 DLCs and their forms takes uh, that will take the slots? Uh, says, example, Superhero Go On takes 5 DLC slots, or Superhero Go On and his form takes just one slot? That is a good question. Lord Doom says, uh, massive L for that game. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, for the Spider-Man game. Well, we game. know that some of the slots are being taken up by, you know, uh, the two androids. Uh, I'm assuming Cell Max, because, like, why shouldn't he be there? Gohan Beast Form, mm -hmm. Orange Piccolo, so that's five already. If if, then, if we want to talk about DLC, probably the, the, the characters from the Dragon Ball Super manga that still haven't gotten anime forms yet. Uh... So like Moro, Granola. They might add the villains from there, yes. Uh, I also believe they're probably gonna add some of the Daima characters. Mm-hmm. That too. Uh take the asking Pop Pan? Uh maybe. I, I if they wanna, you know, add a child to get, you know, wrecked on by so. Uh, I want twenty third Budokai Tenkai or Tenkaichi Budokai Chi Chi playable. I hope, I please, that'd be awesome. I hope that that would be and, cool. And, and for her to fly, have her use the flying Nimbus, you know, just to give it yes. a uh, give it right. a throwback, give it a throwback to uh, Super she Dragon Ball Z on the PS2. Use... Yep, that's right. Also, she can use it in Super DBZ. She did, yeah. Mm -hmm. She also had the fan to do projectiles, so she. If she needs to throw a blast, she could just use the, the fan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that, would work. that would work. What else? I mean, it, I do hope that uh, King Piccolo is there, along with, like... Oh, yes, Daimo. Uh, Piccolo Daimo. <laughs> Jesus, Daimo. That's a uh, whole other... Take a sense. I think they'll make the non flying just fly slash fall like Hercule. Rip, yep, pack Hercule. Yeah, I'm about to say with Herc with uh, Mr. Satan, where's his jetpack? <laughs> because he's actually flying legitly. It's like, when does he have Buku Jutsu? Never. Well, apparently, he just jumps infinite. He jumps good. Who can fly? No, jump good. Yeah, it says we need sour man. Now we, if we're getting sour man, we better get Arale. And if he's not overpowered as hell, uh, I gotta be disappointed. <laughs> hey, you said you would keep power levels. <laughs> or if you, or if you want a crossover character, have Beelzebub from uh, Sandland. He might as well. He might as well be. I honestly, it wouldn't be surprising to actually add him as one, one as a playable character for one of the DLCs, or he might actually just be in the base game. I mean, if any of you played Sandland or watched Sandland, and you know who Beelzebub's father is, you know for a fact that it's just freaking Deborah, even though they don't call him Deborah. In that, I have only read property. Sandland. I I am planning on getting Sandland at some point. Like I actually do want to play the game, most because like sound that really like talks great about the game. And I saw some of the gameplay a couple, like, couple, like a month ago, and it looks great. So it's basically like 3D Metal Slug uh, Sandland from, I guess, what people describe of it. Kind of goes around in the tank like a Metal Slug, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Okay. 
Uh, uh, wolf guy, do you guys think is giant form in the game? I, yeah. Well, a lot of people say wolf guy has his his giant. I wonder if you guys read Mache like under read Macheki language because like. <laughs> Wolf guy, do you think his giant form is in the game? Lots of people I, say Wolf guy has his giant form. I'm guessing he's referring to one of the wolf people in uh, the tur tournament of power or whatever. Was, did one of them have a giant? Oh yeah, Bergamo did did go giant. Was was it? But, you, but it wasn't. It, what it was was like he, if you remember, he would take hits and like absorb it, and he grow bigger. Oh yeah. They only used it like for for when they did the basic. Uh, yeah, it wasn't even the, the premise. It was the pre, the little exhibition. Yeah, Lord Doom even corroborated on that yeah. and said, "Yeah, he's talking about Bergamo." I forgot he had that skill. It's because he didn't use it in the actual term. He just used it in the exhibition. Funny well, enough. I did see so I did see one of the many many gameplays of someone using the the leader for the for the wolf trio. I keep, I don't what was his name? Ben Bergamo. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. So he's there, but I don't know if he will turn giant. And I don't know if they will include his uh, his teams because one of his super one of his uh, specials is him summoning them as an attack. Um, so I guess we'll see if that half if that will be a thing. We're already in Act Four, and uh, we're, oh, wow. we still have, and we still haven't even finished up today's stream. So it just shows you how fast this that this. Uh, chapters or this story is going for Momohime and if we actually if we actually beat it by getting through I mean this if we actually go through this uh, stream by completing like the entirety uh, like half of Momohime's story I'll be amazed I believe there are points where like you just start running from like ends to ends so uh, not even fighting in between. You just go to one point, tells it there's another point, and then you start heading the other side. Of course, I also have to redo an entire fight because uh, one of the bosses decided to fall outside the, the map, and I had to re. Ah. Uh, it's. I'm, uh, it's the one when you fight against a. Uh, when you go through the mountain, I think it's it's in Momohime's one. Uh huh. If it was in, uh, if it was the other one, uh, let's see. Uh, uh is uh, if you're talking about Mount Fuji, would that be Kisuke's? I think it was Kisuke's, the one that turns into boar. Is that? Is that oh uh, no, no, it, it it is Momohime's. Now that I yeah. think about it. Yeah. So because I dealed enough damage, and then it turned into a boar, but apparently the. Where the boss was and I was, it shifted the when it was supposed to fall down to the ground, like away from the actual arena, and it just kept falling for infinitely. Uh -huh. So I stood there for like five, ten minutes, and then realized I gotta have to redo the fight. At least I saved before the boss fight, so it's not yeah. like I lost, but still. Um, Teku says, anyone hoping Meta Cooler DLC and se and setting custom 100 Meta Cooler fights? <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to those uh, Goku being betrayed uh, custom fights. I'm just saying. I was going to I was going to I was going to joke around and say that, uh, or why don't they do what they did with uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2 in Japan, where they just made a where they just made a uh, skin for Frieza, but it's basically cooler and it became one of the rarest Dragon Ball Z games in existence, or the rarest. Because it I... came from... Because in, in Japan they actually did a second release of uh, 
of Budokai 2, uh, but they called it Dragon, yeah, Ball, did, Z, Dragon Ball Z 2V, and it's basically yes, like oh, yeah. 1,000 or 1,500 of their subscribers. They actually got the game where it actually had a skin of Frieza where you could actually play I Spoiler. read about it. Yep. I read about it in uh, on Kanzenshu. Uh-huh. I never... Uh, yeah, this is pretty rare because, like you said, it was only for subscribers, so man. <laughs> Lord Doom. These Goku betrayal lists are worse than the knife ears. There, I said it. Damn. You'd rather spend time with Elf than actual people who make a Goku betrayal and what ifs. That's insane, that's yeah. Then it'd be like uh, Injustice Dragon Ball Z. Or Dragon Ball. It's like Goku starts his own regime, and then Vegeta is the one who start, starts the insurgency. I mean, I'm gonna be surprised if I if if I don't see one within the like the, tw the first like 24 hours of the game release, and I don't see it. If and I don't see like a single Goku betrayed like custom battle story. Well. Give it time. It. I mean, I mean, give it no, time like, when that game releases. There, somebody's gonna make it within the first 24 hours. I guarantee. Yeah, that. that's that's what I mean. Because like, I would be surprised if there wasn't. Because like, it's it's bound to happen. Everyone is making jokes already from it. I have made jokes about it. <laughs> uh, I believe that is battle again. It probably did too, but it didn't mean. Yeah. Or it's it's like, also ah, been quite, it also, it's also been quiet for quite a while. I think sometimes Discord does that also. Sometimes but... Discord just kicks you out. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, like it, take, it thinks you're being idle or whatever. Like oh yeah, you could do that. The thing says you could recreate Budokai One Leg uh, Legacy of Hercule campaign. Oh yes, <laughs> that was funny uh, from Budokai One. I remember like actually going for that. It took me like an uh, like half a day because like. Oh yeah, it's tough. It is super tough. Oh my god, so the real he's like I'm so salty. I'd rather bury an elf than deal with them. You have <laughs> no idea. Uh, well, you'll love our Ningen. They always go clowning on that. Oh yeah. They love clowning on that on that betrayal crap. That's pretty much their mo. That's like the, the, it's like I don't know who started it, but like it, it just spiraled out to like where everyone loves to make them, and because apparently it's the most easiest way of like you know basically what if Goku got character assassinated like super hard? Base. Oh man, you mean? You like those ones where he's where he's a big time cheater and stuff? Oh yeah, that too. Cause it, it's it's just it's the same shit. Oh wow, he's damn. Logo was like one hundred to marry a high elf. Wow. Yeah, the mo the worst most contem they, they are contemptible. It contemptible heard kind it here. of elf. They you heard it here, folks. Lord Doom's gonna marry Galadriel from Lord of the Rings. No, those are better than the ones that Elder Scrolls. The Elder Scrolls one are pea colored as they, the ones who hate elves, hate high elves. Always say that. Ah, oh, look at these pea, sh pea skinned elves. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Stop doing they look, that. They look like piss. I think I, I gotta figure this shit. White's doing that. I hate I, that. If, if you figure it out, let me know because it doesn't. I will, because Jesus, I hate that. No, for real, it's annoying. Yeah. Oh, it's not even a trend, Lord uh, uh, Star Child. It's just that it, it's, as I said, it's so easy to just make content like what, what if Goku became a bloodthirsty killer seeking for vengeance, which is you know not his character at all. It's the same type of people who keep going on like you know there's you have Goku. And you have Kakarot. And, and when Goku gets mad, that's when Kakarot comes out. Yeah. But like, like he, like he's some like, um, uh, was it like he, had, like he has split personality. The 
Check this is, uh, yeah, Kenya. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was actually the case. Like, whenever Goku's in his rage, like, like in the fight with Frieza, when he's fighting Frieza, that's actually Kakarot's personality. But when he's actually no. able to control Super Saiyan, that it's actually his personality. You know? I'm, I mean, no, no, because that's... No. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's a it's an interesting theory. I'll put it that much. Yeah, sure, fine. What I mean is just that people assume that he has like we bonked his head, split personality. It's like no, it's just changed Goku's personality. There is no like Goku Kakarot. Goku is Kakarot. Kakarot is Goku. It's just that there is like like there's no split personality because like that's not how it works. Mm hmm. Like I said, uh, interesting theory, but it's uh, yeah, it's but not real, not realistic. Let's put it that way. Yeah, but you know what's funny? Some people believe in it. People think that that is a thing. It's not it's just a theory. It's not, not, not a stupid headcanon. It's some people legit goes around believing that, like that. Yeah, no. Nope, when he uh, man, Goku was uh, managed to save uh, Frieza because Kakarot was about to you know, you know cap his ass like at, in uh, at the end of Namek Saga and all that. It's like. No, but then, again, said he... but then yeah. again, I'm pretty sure that people would come up with a rebuttal and say, but in the super manga, Goku remembers who his dad was. I mean, yeah, but that's, that, that's just him that finally, like, unlocking memories that apparently he had when he was, like, what, a year old? Right. But you know that they would just come up with that rebuttal on the spot. It's no, of course. Just... Uh, we're I mean, you use smart star child, because that's why I don't interact with anime people in person. Some of them are completely dumb. Like their brain got replaced by egg rolls at some point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we that, that process is called brain rot. Yeah. <laughs> and it's also, I mean, it's also, like, one of the reasons why I spend, like, I, 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 I get into an anime, like, I don't care, like, I try to stay away from the fandom, because it's gonna suck all my enjoyment out of it. It's one of the reasons why I absolutely hate my hero. Oh, yeah. Good show. I like reading the manga, but the fan? The fandom, like, really destroyed any enjoyment I had of it. Oh, speaking of the manga, I guess that the, uh, the Paranormal Liberation War came to an end recently. Or... But for my hero? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so isn't that like it? Isn't that like supposed to be the like the story's climax or whatever? No, no, no. I have, I haven't, I haven't read since. Um, when did I stop reading? I, I, I stopped reading the manga when uh, Deku started under, like switching up instead of punching and started kicking instead. Oh yeah. So like, still like super early, and the anime I stopped around I think season two. Yeah, I only stopped at season one. I only saw the first season. I will say, in defense of the first season, not bad, but it's just, I don't think it'd be something I would binge through, throughout the entirety of the story with the rest of the seasons mm -hmm. and all. Because I believe, Jerry, you were with me, like, when it came to My Hero, you, you, like, the fandom kind of ruined that for you? Yeah, not only kind of ruined, super ruined. Yeah. I actually wouldn't mind My Hero. I saw a whole video essay, and I, you know me, I don't really like looking at video essays anymore. But I saw mm -hmm. one a month ago. It was about the sit, like how, like he was showing like fans who were like, he's like, he's like the way these fans act. You would think this is what my hero is about. Then he showed like all the like action scenes and like what is action. And he's like, it's like some weird cognitive disconnect here between the fandom that represented and the actual show. But because yeah. of the fandom. A lot of us don't want to deal with the show anymore. Yeah. Nope. And unfortunately, also, when you spend... When, when you... And the unfortunate thing when it comes to, like, Dragon Ball fans is that... It is so large, and the... Since a lot of us are been fans of this... D Dragon Ball for, like... Years. I, I have been for, like, at least 20 years myself. <laughs> for me. So yeah, so I would say like, and most of you guys are probably longer than me because I didn't, I, we didn't get the mod, uh, we didn't get the mod until like in twenty in twenty twenty seven. That'll be thirty years, golly. Yeah. Damn. So like, you, you 
unfortunately, like, no matter how much, like, just by being around the community, because you want to look up news and all that, you, you, you unfortunately, like, get to see these people, like, out of the ball, and then you see their fucking hot takes, and it's just like, holy shit, you guys are absolutely stupid. Mental, basically. Yeah. Just like um, me for my Persona tier list. Or when I did my Final Fantasy <laughs> game list. Some people call me mental for uh, putting Final Fantasy X so low on the list. What did you put? Sound out, Sound out also got that. It's like, it's required. You make Man. any kind of list. It, you you must like it. it. It It is masterpiece. Equals your must opinion, like. Your opinion better line up with theirs. Man, now I want to make a list and then see if yeah. someone calls me mental. <laughs> I, gotta, I mean, I... Just, just for the sake of completion, I hope so. I, I need you to make a. I need to make, out. I need to make a Mega Man list then, because like that's my thing, you know. Metal, you just did a Power Rangers tier list. I did. Were you also called Mental? Yeah. Uh. Well, not yet. I think exactly. time, most yeah. of our opinions, <laughs> except for like a couple pla like placements, are fairly uncontroversial. So. Uh, I, I know I would have some very controversial opinion when it comes to Mega Man games, but I don't know if I ever should oh, do yeah. the full, I don't know if I should do the full, like, franchise, or if I just do, like, maybe classic or something. I, actually, no, full one, because that gives me the high chance that someone calls me mental. see. <laughs> <laughs> LPA says, I just, see, I just saw a good list. The Ultimate Mega Man Rock Band tier list, let's see. Okay, yeah, this is all the games. Uh, uh, is it, uh see, uh, good list. Ogrim says, I saw some stuff uh, recently that convinced me that my hero fandom is just weird. Uh, oh, said, um, I saw the original Dragon Ball during the first run in the early 90s when I saw they just played it for the first five episodes on a loop. So I didn't see the rest until the years later. Oh, hey, uh, Alex. Uh, you remember that one boss battle about that dragon or that that one Oni or whatever who turns into a pig? Or yeah, that's, that's it, is the pig that turn, turns into like basically like a thunder god or whatnot? Yeah, it's yep. this boss fight that's going on right yep. here. This is the this is the fight that where all of a sudden it just when it turn when it transitioned to him back to, to into a boar, it just. I just saw that the, the, a small piece of of its sprite just fall out of it. It's like, whoa, oh, there it goes. <laughs> so, yep, you will see it in this video, folks. Wait, this is a legacy collection? I don't... I wouldn't count legacy collections. You know, I know a lot of people uh, were kind of disappointed that Capcom didn't do a legacy collection of the Mega Man Game Boy games. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were talked about it years ago when they, they did, did. The, uh, anniversary, uh, when they did for uh, uh, Classic and X. They were actually, they, they were talking of making the Game Boy and some of the uh, SNK Neo Geo was supposed to come out. And I, I remember because I was excited for it i was waiting for it to release and then i don't know where just be like no nah, we're not making it they're they're okay. all gonna be on nintendo switch online day one i mean they're already out yeah of course they, they, knew, they knew they knew nintendo was gonna do this like 20 15 years in the future <laughs> <laughs> um Lodum says putting that uh Lodum is putting uh, that cross guard on his lightsaber with the greatest design choice he could made he could make yep there's 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 the giant in the sky that's supposed to be a boar oh, this is still oh. okay. And we're fighting his foot first form, which is his foot. Does he expect oh, what's, uh... people who are going to give? Does he expect that people are going to have foot fetishes for him? Let's check, saying. Well, the chat was saying. Uh, well, as I said, uh, mentioned about his uh, apparently putting uh, some cross guard on his uh, lightsabers with the greatest design. 
Sasha was early reminiscing about the 90s when apparently he did see the first five episode of OG Dragon Ball, but they just kept repeating on the loop and took him years before he saw the rest. And he said, I remember at the time it was in third grade, early in the morning, there was a channel that played uh, Dragon Ball Sailor Moon, the Bots Masters. Bot Bots Masters. Bot yeah. I, I've never heard about that one. Huh. Uh, the original Sonic cartoon, I'm assuming it is the uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Could be sad again. And Ronin Warriors. Ronin Warriors. Even though I got oh God, the, I... The, the the entire series on Blu-ray, I still have yet to watch it. Speaking of Warriors, Wi-Fi Warriors. Uh, the Great Steel. I remember, like in in the mid, uh, like in the mid 2000, uh, early 2010s, there was a lot of uh, weird slash fix between Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon at one point. Oh, there's a famous yeah. uh, piece of uh, media out there. That, yes, like, <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I actually, I even know about the piece of media because like I stumbled upon it. Like, what the hell is this? It's like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? It's like, okay, I guess this is the thing. It's it's on Blu-ray now. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, it it is uh, it is a classic, I guess. Classic is somebody's eyes. Yeah. Not mine. But somebody's. Uh, okay, this I, this list is much better actually. I'm saving this. I one. hate this boss more. Than the one boss you talked about, the second boss of Momohime's story, I despise oh, a lot more. Thing. I despise this boss a lot more than that one, because understandable. When you fight the, when you get face to face with his uh, godlike form, every swing from his fist that he does, it can break your blade in one yeah. instant. Yeah, I can mean, saw him do that. Yep. Check real quick. Wow, can't believe I'm about to be done with my job. Uh, the start of, uh, um, so it, it, it was the Sonic cartoon that had the uh, low budget backgrounds. That's all I remember. Okay, yeah, it's Adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, with uh, with the, with the Pingus and all the the yeah. fu the, fu the funny. Uh, That's no good. That's no good. Jaleel White. Hey, Metal, wasn't it you who had a story about Jaleel White showing up and you're like, wait a minute, Urkel's not real. <laughs> Oh yeah, because uh, we were talking about very special episodes and how it was like the family, uh, family matters like gun episode or whatever. Oh where yeah, they had, I remember like, that. Cast come out and, and talk about gun violence and stuff like as themselves, mm -hmm. and it blew yeah. my mind that you know Jaleel White wasn't just like Urkel. Yeah, he's like wait, he's he's just a normal guy. He's not actually like that. Yep. Everything in my life has been a lie. Quit breaking my blade, you asshole! There we go. Yeah. Come down so I can actually finish you off for good this time. And we can finally end off this stream for today. Got him! Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna make boar meat out of you, boar demon. Uh -oh. I'm about to say what happened? then the first time chat showed up in the chat. Oh, Alex. Clicker uh, Slayer. There, there it is. Thank uh, you. I was looking away. Was... Yeah. I got I gotta do with that mod view you have for like the... That makes sense. Uh, well, it's, it says I'm in mod, but I don't have the show mod icons. Oh, Right there. Wow, this whole time I just had to do that. Show mod icons. Wait a minute. We're now back at the hot springs to talk to this guy. Yeah. This boar. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, he, he was just he was just mad. So and uh, by fighting, he called him down. He's like, okay, I'm cool now. 
So it's basically like the Dragon Boss in Kisuke's campaign, where it's lost in rage, but when you fight it and defeat it, it actually is calmed like, down. Oh, okay. man. It, oh, sorry about that, sir. Borderline. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much like that. I would <laughs> go straight up borderline. <laughs> yes. As they, as they, uh, basically, the thing. Yeah, they, they get it. They're just like, oh, man. They realize what they've done. Like, oh, my emotions got this to me. I'm borderline. Okay. <laughs> I thought of a bad pun. Borderline, because it's a bore. <laughs> You're fired. Uh, yeah, listen. exactly. I gotta fire myself. <laughs> <laughs> and with good cause. And with good cause, yeah. You're fired, and with good cause. <laughs> Seamless, huh? <laughs> You're fired. Uh, here, we'll give you a severance package. <laughs> but don't worry, Geek Fighters will live on. <laughs> I didn't know Lord Doom said about Jaleel White, greatest actor known the man. He was so convincing he thought it was real. I guess he he so! And he also said he he also thought of that pun, but didn't want to pull the pin of, of that figurative grenade. Understandable. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we can now proceed and get to a safe spot. Alright. And I'm and also done with it. And we, and we just completed the halfway point of Momohime's story. Would you believe nice. that? <laughs> yeah, Lord Doom says, but uh, Kalos was like, nah, we're gonna confront this together. <laughs> hey, Demon Wolf, if you're, if you're still around, uh, yeah, check Discord. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Wolf and Demon, indeed. If the wheeled one shows up, perhaps we may watch shows this evening. For we much we must still catch up. Ever playing catch up. All right, let's plug. Yeah. Okay. And metal, I think right, it's your first. turn. Yeah, it well, is. Let, well, let mine's... Go first, oh, okay, guest. yeah, that, yeah, of course. Metal. Yeah. All right. Oh, of course. Uh, you can. Find me over at uh, twitch.tv uh, slash the bad gamer. Uh, I expect to stream Thursdays and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Uh, Central European time. Currently playing uh, the final game of the Mega Man Battle Network series, uh, and it's going smoothly for now. Uh, yeah, come join me. I guess if it's cool that I'll link my Twitch, uh, my Twitch for this in chat. Oh yeah, since you're since you're in here, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Right there. Uh, ask for where you can find me if for anything social on that. I don't have socials. I am weird in that sense. Uh, but I'm assuming it's cool that too. Uh, you can find me here, which is there. Uh, or that one too. That works either way. Uh, well, announce when I go live. And that's pretty much me. Okay. All right. All right, go ahead, Metal. Uh, okay. Well, I'm easy. Metal Pine Eyes on X, and, well, otherwise, I do stuff for Hero Club. Follow us across social media at Hero Club for Life, such as X, Facebook, YouTube, and, of course, Twitch, where we stream Fridays and Wednesdays, and maybe more in the future. You never know, but check us out. All right. Well, I put the links in the uh, chat, as you can see, but uh, just for those of you who don't look at the chat or whatever, uh, you can find me on YouTube.com and Twitch.tv at DoubleRPGReviews. Uh, YouTube's my bread and butter when it comes to content, whereas Twitch is secondary, as I stream on there mostly. 
uh, haven't worked on any new content in a while, or, nor done any new streams by myself in a while, but if the Nintendo Direct is happening this week coming up, and on a day when I don't work, or before I go into work, then I will gladly do that. But if it is one day before I have to go into work, then it will probably be a solo reaction stream. But if it's on Wednesday or Thursday uh, in the afternoon, then maybe we can all get together and react to that. But yeah. we'll, have to, we'll have to wait for whenever they officially announce it. But in the meantime, you can stay up to date with all my social media feeds on Facebook and Twitter, or X, as they now call it, at Double RPG Reviews. And that's it. All right. Uh, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash FighterCast, spelled F-I-G-H-T-E-R-X-A-O-S. You know it. You see my name there. I'll, I'll link it anyways. And uh, I stream Tuesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Eastern. Tuesdays is King of Fighters 15. Fridays is Fake Grand Order. Anything else is, uh, you gotta check my social media for that, which is the same name, FighterCast, on Twitter, Facebook, at X is Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. <laughs> And on the Discord, where where I where I would announce if I go on a random stream that isn't on my normal schedule. Plus, we do our commissions. So, and, yeah. And is that it? Um, yeah. All right. Well, you know the drill. Every four episodes we do, we always have to go to Fight K next week. So that's where we're going to be going. Yep. And uh, we haven't decided on which game we want to play yet, but uh, be on the lookout for that when we. Uh, go live next Saturday for yeah. just that. And I think it's time to return to a fighting game since we did beat em ups last time. But whatever that fighting game is, we'll decide. And then you'll see it for yourself. But until then, uh, this is Double RPG. Met Metal Pie Nice. I'm Fighter Chaos. Guy Gamer. All right. And Fighter Chaos, you got two great words that are left to end off this stream. And they are? Nimi. Kanyo. Peace out, and we'll see you next week, guys. Ciao. Bye.